All right, special edition Desk of Lady Ada. What? Wait, what do you mean? Well, it's, uh, you know, early in the morning, late at night somewhere, and that means Raspberry Pi is releasing something. Yeah, yeah, that's why I've got my awesome Raspberry Pi shirt on. That's right. There's a new product release, and I'm like, super excited about this one. This one's really cool. This is the Pi 400. Now, I don't know about yeah. you, but I grew up with an Apple IIe, right? This is a, an all-in-one computer that had, like, the keyboard and the floppy disk drive, and then you put a monitor on top of it, and it was like a computer, and that's how I learned computing. That's how I learned how to program. And um, I think the Raspberry Pi Foundation um, hit this one out of the park. They came up with their own all-in-one keyboard computer kit, right? Because the Raspberry Pi 4 is fast enough to be a desktop computer. Like, it can play videos, and you can write code, and you can run Scratch. Um, you can use uh, online document editing, you know, if you want to use like Google Docs or, or Microsoft Docs or whatever. And um, it's so fast that people are like, well, I can actually have this be my kid's computer or it can just be your spare computer. So what they did, the Pi Foundation, is they took the Raspberry Pi 4 and you're like, what a nice little keyboard. Well, this keyboard is actually the computer. So um, starting from the left here or the right, depending on how you're looking at it, this is the Kensington lock, so it's a, like a security lock um, if you want to use this in um, you know, like a library or a school where you don't want people to actually grab it. You've got true gigabit ethernet. I know people have been asking about gigabit ethernet. True gigabit ethernet, so you've got wired connectivity. There's also built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board, the same as the Raspberry Pi 4. So if you don't want to have ethernet, you can, of course, do Wi-Fi. Um, there's a USB 2.0 port. And there's two USB-C, sorry, USB 3.0 ports. So here, I'll plug this into this port so you can see. They're blue, so they, they can be used for um, high power, sorry, high speed USB devices. So like, for example, you've got like a disk drive or a USB key. Um, you can get pretty high speeds over USB 3. Um, there's lots of, you know, lots of things that you might want to plug in over USB. So I'm glad they gave you three full ports. That's more than your MacBook Pro has, right? Yeah. Um, power is USB-C. So the, um, there's a computer kit that comes with a power plug. You want five volts, three amps. But if you have any USB-C adapter, um, that'll work as well. Just make sure it can supply more than two amps. And that'll drive all the accessories as well. Uh, there's two micro HDMI ports. I'm plugged into one because we're going to show you the desktop. And there's a spare, so you can have dual 4K displays. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There it is. This and is live. Uh, yeah. What would you say? We're, we're doing this. We're just showing it right right as, yeah. right as that's coming right off the pie. And like you can just, like, you can browse the Internet and play videos and do whatever you want. And then, uh, okay, let's keep going. I'm not going to stop. Um, there's the micro SD, and that's where you put the Raspberry Pi operating system. That's a disk drive. So use 8 or 16 or even 32 gigabytes um, you want like the fastest biggest micro SD card you, you've got but it'll work on you can even use a 4 gigabyte if you use Raspberry Pi Lite so it's you know if you don't have a big um, micro SD card that's fine and my favorite it's got that 40 pin GPIO port but this time it's like kind of inset so what you want to do is use a um, hold on I'll grab a, a breakout Going yeah, hold on. Okay, gotta un unhook it. Okay, so um, if you want to use the GPIO port, there's a lot of cables here. Okay, so this is the GPIO port. If you want to use a GPIO port with like a breadboard or to connect LEDs or NeoPixels, you'll want a cobbler. So the cobbler has uh, breakouts that can plug into a breadboard and on the other side there's this long cable and then the cable has like a little notched connector and voila it matches up perfectly with the port in the back so you'll want to use this if you want to connect a hat or a bonnet as well but yeah definitely for like breadboard projects um, there's a book that comes with the kit that goes through a bunch of projects and some of them require wiring up hardware that's where um, the cable comes in handy and then the back again, the micro SD, two HDMI ports, USB-C power, two USB 3 ports, one USB 2 port, gigabit Ethernet, Kensington lock. And then, of course, uh, the keyboard itself, um, which in this case, we're American. So we have the U.S. layout. It's got this really cute little, like, 
Raspberry Pi key yeah, as well. Yeah, let's see what happens when you press it. Press the Pi button. I don't know. Oh, look. It opens up the logo. Menu. Yeah. So you can like, um, you know, there's all sorts of built-in stuff. You can play media. You can view images. I mean, it's like basically, you know, it's Linux, but it's a full desktop computer. And I think this could be really good for, you know, if you want to give a student or a beginner computer where, you know, at a hundred bucks, you don't have to worry about if something goes wrong. And you get that cool hardware hacking port, which is like my favorite. Um, plus it's got that whole Raspberry Pi 4 power. It's got um, two gigabytes of RAM. I want to verify that though. Sorry, it's four gigabytes of RAM. Um, so it's definitely enough that you can do like machine learning projects, right? We've been doing a couple of machine learning projects with the Pi 4. It's nice and speedy. And um, especially with the video acceleration, you can you can drive monitors. And then uh, the GPIO port gives you like all sorts of other cool stuff like I squared C and SPI and I2S and all those other three letter acronyms. So um, there's two product versions of this. So let's go to my computer and I can show you the difference. Okay, so this is what's like kind of, if you, if you want to get this in time for the holidays, you're going to want um, to pick up or sign up for the 4796 on Adafruit. So it says product 4796, and that's the full kit. So the full kit, you get the computer. It looks like a keyboard, but it's like a computer. You get the beginner's guide, which covers everything you need to get set up and start with the Raspberry Pi, but of course it's even easier because you got the computer. You get um, the micro SD card. You get the power supply with the US plugs. You get a um, micro to HDMI cable, and you get the mouse in like this Raspberry Pi red and white. Um, and if you are willing to wait, I think it might come out a little bit later, there'll be the Raspberry Pi 400 just computer. Like you don't get all the extras. Um, and this might be good if like you already have mice and micro SD cards and micro HDMI cables and all that good stuff. So um, for the holidays, um, so you know these shipments are coming to the US, so we'll get them soon. But for the holidays, you probably want to pick up the computer kit. I think there are going to be more of those and um, they'll be available for holiday purchase. Whereas the Raspberry Pi 400 computer, I think they're prioritizing the kit first. So. This is, this is kind of my, my guessing, my, my tea leaf reading. Um, but if you're willing to wait till after the holidays uh, in 2021, uh, you'll be, definitely be able to pick up both. And, uh, you know, it's like a Pi 4 plus keyboard it makes for the best. Cool new product. So that's the Pi 400 uh, available in the Adafruit store. If you're watching this and it isn't live yet, sign up. And as soon as we get a shipment in, you'll get notified and you'll get uh, first dibs. We recommend it. All right, that was special edition Pi 400 display data because it's on your desk. That's right. It's a desktop. Thank you. All it right. is a desktop. There it is. Whew. All right. Bye-bye. Happy Pi Day. <laughs>